Interessantes. Aha, asa, aya. Asante sana Governor Sakaja, Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, Daktari William Samoi Ruto, wakuu wetu wa kanisa la marafiki kutoka sehemu mbalimbali, ndugu wanasiasa, wenzangu ambao wako hapa na Wakristo na waumini wote hamjambo. Mirembe Unajua rais unajua hawa Quakers I think uh, ukitaka kushika roho za mtu wa mirembe kutoka Tranzoia Bungoma mpaka huko Vihiga na hata mpaka Migori hii ndio barabara Kwa kweka. Kabla sijasema lolote niliona Madam Ozwara akisimamisha Mr Ozwara. <laughs> Ndio apate idhini. Hii kitu haiendi one direction mama Tesi. Unataka useme jambo? <laughs> Asante. Alafu nataka ni mtambue waziri wetu Aisha Jumwa. Asante sana. Nataka ni mtambue Harriet Chigai ambaye anasimamia uh, gender. Asante sana. Nataka ni mtambue mheshimiwa Agoi. Hatutaki kusema sana lakini mnajua rais alifanya kitu. Eh? Asante sana kwa niaba ya sisi sote. Uh, Your Excellency yangu yatakuwa machache sana kwa sababu tuko kwa kanisa. Lakini nataka niseme heko kwa kamati na wale wamesimamia ujenzi wa Donholm kwa church Mimi najua wamekuwa wakitoa jasho kujenga kanisa hili nishawahi kuhusika na hao labda mara mbili mara tatu kwa hiyo kazi lakini leo ni furaha kwa sababu wako katika ile hali ya kumalizia tu kile kimebaki kidogo but we are proud that as quakers you have put up a very nice and decent church for the people of Kenya sisi kama quakers na mimi ni quaker man vile nimetangazwa hapa leo nitapawesha siasa lakini nataka tu ni ambie kwekazo wetu let us unreservedly support the government of president william samoy ruto let us support him in prayers let us support him through human resource let us support him in whatever way we can either individually or collectively support him. Taifa letu liko kwa hali ambayo ni ngumu. Tukisema tutoe hesabu zote ni mambo ya ajabu. But I can tell you kwamba the president has got a mammoth task to turn around this economy and it will require everything it will require prayer it requires the hand of god it also requires our sacrifice 
and our commitment and our patience as a people. Pahali tuko, you cannot turn around an economy the way you brew instant coffee. Vilo natengeneza kahawa ya Nescafe, usifikiri ndio hivyo unaweza badilisha uchumi. It takes time, consistency, commitment and sacrifices. Ndio tufike pahali tunataka tuende. Secondly, we all must focus. Mimi sijui Biblia sana kama William Ruto yeye yeah, akitoa vas mimi nanyamaza <laughs> But at least I know somewhere in the Bible there is Lazarus Lazarus alikuwa na shida na familia yake the sister and others wakatuma ujumbe kwa Yesu wakamwambia njoo haraka Lazarus yuko kwa hali mbaya Njo haraka tunakuhitaji lakini rai, uh, Jesus akakaa aka focus ile kazi yake na akarudi kwenda kumuona baada ya siku mbili hivi Why am I bringing this issue of Lazarus Let us take it in the context of managing time. Let us take it in the context of focusing. Jesus had gone for his mission and he focused on his mission. And no matter what destruction was being brought to him, even if it was a matter of life and death, Jesus still remained focused on his mission and he managed his time and he knew i have to fulfill my obligation do what i'm doing i will deal with the issue of lazarus when i get there he did not panic and run away from his mission to go and deal with the lazarus issue so the message i'm putting across here is that as kenyans and for the president let nobody try to distract the president's focus let him implement his program work on resuscitating the economy and let us not work on other people's emergencies <laughs> jesus focused on his job but eventually he dealt with the problem of lazarus the president must focus on his job deal with the emergencies as defined by his government and in the process he will then deal with the other emergencies that are there i'm bringing this out so that we can all focus as a nation na tuende mbele tujenge taifa letu kwa njia inayofaa sasa nikimaliza with a light note your excellency you know when we brought the earthquake mimi na wewe nilijua we are quakers we must quake na tukashirikiana na wewe na tukaleta earthquake na taifa likatingizika na uchaguzi ukofanyika na uchaguzi wa amani na tukamaliza vizuri na wakenya wakaamua watampatia mheshimiwa William Samoi Ruto nafasi ya kuongoza uh, taifa letu kwa hivyo mimi nataka tu niseme let us pull together but for the quakers because i may never have disclosed to you this but i will disclose today why the earthquake it is because 
I looked, I searched my soul, I meditated, and I realized that the direction of the nation required a paradigm shift. So I moved. People hesitated. People said, we cannot afford to be in opposition. They told me, Musalia Mudavadi, don't take us to opposition. And in the process of my meditation, we worked with Ruto, and I knew that that is where the government was going to be. So if there's one thing I did, I listened to the people who said, don't take us to the opposition. I listened. And I delivered. Because you asked me, don't take us to the opposition. Did I deliver or didn't I deliver? <laughs> so since you did not want to be in the opposition, and you wanted to be in government, so now please embrace this government. <laughs> so that you can all move ahead. Now, without causing another earthquake, <laughs> let me invite His Excellency the President to come forward and grace this occasion. And as Quakers, we really thank you for being with us. Asante,